Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I will be adding another piece to the current series I'm working on, which I've kind of gone with the title of Calm Within Chaos. So for this series, I've been creating these fluid backgrounds uh, with usually colors that are going to be tied into the painting and pulling out the shapes that I see in that sort of fluid mess and creating animals. So, so far I've only done birds and today I'm going to be doing a great horned owl. So my backgrounds I always usually do with acrylic paints just because I am impatient and I don't want to wait all that time for the oils to dry and then I begin building my bird on top with oils. Always put a lot of time into the eyes because in my opinion, especially when you're painting animals and humans as well, the eyes are what are really important to give a painting life. So by giving the eyes life, it just makes the rest of the painting come together so much more easily. And then I start to go in with a fine liner brush to add a lot of those really fine details that I tend to obsess over. <laughs> still, uh, still learning how to be patient with oil paints. I think that will come with time and experience. And every once in a while I put my hand right on top of the thing I've just painted because I'm used to working with acrylics that dry a lot faster. One of the challenges I face when creating these sort of pieces where I try to bring some order to the chaos is that I'm never sure how far to go. I don't want to overwhelm the background and just make it appear like there's this owl sticker sitting on top. I want it to really become organic and flow with the background. And I think that's just something that you don't really learn, you just feel out as you go. So I'm learning with every piece, so do expect more of this series. I'm really loving creating them. We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I've decided to title this piece The Watchful Heart. A lot of these pieces are kind of developing themselves emotionally as I've painted them. Uh, so it's kind of neat. They Even the stories become clearer to me as I'm painting them. Most of the time before I start, I don't really know where I'm going with this piece, other than usually I have an animal in mind, and they just kind of have a story to tell as they're being built and born. So thanks again for watching, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.